All right, y'all, I think I got a fish on right now. Get him. Yes. I've been getting, it's crazy, so I've been getting a lot of bites, and I don't understand why they were getting off the way they've been getting off. There you go. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Nice fish right here. It's got to be a nice little channel cat. I think I might be wrapped around that cord. Yep. Let's get over here. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. What's going on? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'm trying not to tangle up real quick. Hold on. Okay, hold on. It's not big at all. He's not big at all, but this it, it is a problem. My line got caught up with the other fishing line, and that's the issue. Let's see if we can get this line off. We are in the clear for this. I stacked up on Channel Cat early in the season, if y'all haven't remember what I said. So every single time I catch Channel Cat around this year, you can see my stepsister holding it. I always seem to get real good eating out of them. So what we're going to do is just put them down there on the ground and we can just stack them up. I'm not going to take a lot because I don't take too, too many, but I like to take what I'm going to take, then just come back out here and go crazy again. They got a fish on. I think I've been watching my line go slack for quite a bit. And I think, yep, that's why. It's got a little fight on them. It's not cold outside, but it is cold at the same time. Like you get in the right places, you'll be freezing. There we go. There's some fight right there. There is some fight here. No, it's 20 pound mono, but I sh up. Oh, he broke my, up. Oh, came off the hook. He didn't break my line, but he came off the hook. Right, got a fish on, or at least I thought I did. Ah, uh, he got off. See, right, I didn't even get a chance to uh, get that worm back on that other hook. And right when I was about to go to the, right when I was about to go set that up, I got a bite on this rod. Yep, he's back on trying to fight. Got him. Got him. Got him. Here we go. Yes. Oh, they starting to get aggressive now. So they definitely picking up on their bite. This one I want to put in point to y'all. This is exactly what's been out here biting us. Look. Look at this. See that? That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Look, little, real tiny little guy. All right, be careful when you slide them down. Just let them go like that. You don't want to toss them because them things will get into you and cut you real bad. All right, y'all, I couldn't get it, but we got two channel cats right here and they actually bit at the same time. I was trying to do a live, as you can see right there, my stepsister watching me live while I'm on YouTube, basically. These good eater size, these are all going home. There's a reason why I come out here and take eaters like crazy because they taste 10 times better than they would in the summertime. Like I said, all these shad die off. I mean, the shad get so crazy out here, y'all, that literally, if you see shad swimming at this point, at this time of year, you can literally put your hand in the water and grab them. They won't even swim away from you. That's how, that's how, that's how docile they get. Like when they get real cold and they get ready to die, you know, or like when we get a whole thing of frozen ice, I swear they all these shad, they freeze up. And when they die off, they either sink to the bottom or they float all over the place. And that's what they looking for, just eating, you know what I'm saying? So when you get these fish, like I guarantee you cut their stomachs open and see how many shad you'll see. All right, y'all, I think I got a fish biting on right now. And we got her. Oh, yes, we got her. Look at that. They wanted to get on and be consistent with me. All right. No, it's got to be on. Yup, I hate that. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. We get a little catfish here. He's a little guy, though. I can tell y'all this right now. <laughs> He's a real speckle. He's a real little bitty guy, but he is take homeable. Yes, he is. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. See, I told you. He almost swallowed that thing. Oh, he over there. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's. I'm gonna actually hook this worm right back up because. I'm gonna hook this one right back up because I feel like it's good use. Get it back out there. All right, I think we got a fish on. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We had a actually a really aggressive little channel cat. He's a little though, I could tell, but he is fighting, my God. He down there flipping and twisting and everything. Around this time is all them little, little small ones, little things. Let me get down here and grab him so you can see what's going on. Let's really get him. There you go. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. All I'm doing is uh, collecting eaters. You know what I'm saying? You can see, <laughs> you can see how small they are. If they were starting to come out like seven, eight pounds, they get thrown back. But this is what we got right here. You can see this guy is small. You can see how he look. 
And this is the fish that we want to take home right here. This is what you call eaters. All right, I think we got a fish on here. Or, yes we do. You know what, the fish, for it to be a cold front, I'm the channel catch. Oh, he got off, man. Come on, he got off. Oh, come on now, fish. They're getting off on the brother. I don't know what I did to them. I got a little fish biting on this rod right now, and he is super consistent. There he go, I got him. Boy, he was trying to get that bait. He's gotta be a little guy because I'm just reeling him in like crazy. That's all I've been getting today, but I've been getting these perfect eater size fish. He's fighting hard. And then when you get him out of 30 foot of water, then it's, it's still makes it a fight, especially when you cast out far too, big eaters. So I, I was casting left and that, that was working, but now that current moved way too far to the right. So now I have to, have to, make some adjustments like real quick but yep there we go another little guy go keep him and i think that's enough for me today i'm just gonna be out here continue to fish but i i just let y'all know whenever i get another fish so let's just see what we do oh, there's two birds that was just fighting we thought they were dead <laughs> no, they're still fighting i think they oh uh they mating oh whoops <laughs> gotta get out of their business yeah had a little bitty fish on the whole time, didn't even know it. Huh. Dude, come on, man. It's over with, he gotta go now, messing up the whole flow. I'm taking little fish, but listen here, you don't ever come on my ride. You're just too small playing games with me. All right, here we go. We got something on this ride. Got him. Yep, yep. He bit that kind of quick. I, didn't I throw that back out? A lot of little fish though, that's the thing. These little fish, man, they they out and about today. That, see, usually when I come over here and fish, in most cases, I only come out here for eater size. Like when I really want to take some eaters because it's just the luck I get over here. You know, there's tons of fish that's biting. Um, the bigger fish are usually uh, farther down because the river drops and it picks back up and then it gets deeper again. And that's the part where most of them uh, fish usually breed at. Other than that, this is what we getting right now from the little guys man i got to get out of here man we had a decent day uh got a quite a few eaters i got to cut up some fish soon as i get home um if i got enough time i'll probably have me some good old fish sandwiches but all right y'all stay tuned man and we will see you next time and hopefully the next time i see y'all it'll be some carp fishing so peace